What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today we are going to be talking about a few subjects that mainly cover the competitive scene for Black Ops 4. This video is meant to kind of give you guys a quick little update on what's going on and maybe some things you may want to check out and watch later on today. So first off here is the very start of the Doritos Bowl Blackout Battle Royale Tournament at TwitchCon, which is an event for the public, the fans, and Twitch streamers alike. And you can all have meet and greets, play video games, do all that kind of good stuff there. Now, some of these players participating in this event are very, very popular and have quite literally taken over the uh, world as a whole for like the likes of Ninja, who's taken over the gaming scene and really the world in general. Um, Shroud, he's also a very popular um, Twitch streamer and just an insane player overall. And then, of course, there's Dr. Lupo and Courage. Both are really great Battle Royale players. Plus, Courage is from the COD scene and he's teaming with Optic, TP, and Karma. So, I'm repping for the boys in the green here, the green wall, hashtag green wall. But, I don't know, it's going to be tough because both Ninja and Shroud are nasty, nasty players. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a very entertaining event and the stream will more than likely be live by the time this video is uploaded So I'm gonna have a link down below in case you guys want to go check that out now next up here is the rule set for the CWL World League so they have been revealed to us yesterday and a lot of pro players are just very upset at the rules here um, primarily being this here so on screen now is actually a stream I'm gonna have it down below in the description for you guys and uh, the the streamer his name is P Doe and you can see here that he's using the torque specialist and the strategy that he came up with was you put the razor wire and the barricade on the bomb site for S and D and why this is such a great strategy well because it's going to take a really long time to completely get rid of those two walls pretty much the barricade takes an insane amount of bullets and uh, as well as the razor wire and uh, of course the rocket launchers are banned so you can't really destroy them unless you use your own bullets so um, by then though the round timer will end so this is a nasty nasty strategy for s and and why this is allowed I have no idea um, but one solution I was thinking of is maybe you could possibly have like a radius around a bomb site and within that radius you cannot put down any type of equipment um, definitely barricades so maybe that could be a good strategy to work or just get rid of these specialists as a whole so i don't know what they're thinking of and ajax too why he isn't banned i'm not sure at all he literally has a shield with a machine gun poking out of it so uh very very hard to kill him especially in competitive when your life is very important so we'll see what they're going to be doing this is only the version one rule set um, it's it just has a lot of people over in, in a frenzy right now in the competitive COD scene But again, this is only the version 1 rule sets It's more than likely gonna change come December when league play and the competitive team modes launch Also, if you guys want to go check out the full rule list, I'm gonna have it down below for you guys I do feel that this year for competitive COD it's gonna take off However, there needs to be a good balance between getting rid of all that stuff That's just insanely OP and annoying to use for competitive yet not cutting everything off completely so that the new incoming pubs players won't be turned away from watching but tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comments guys also drop a like if y'all did enjoy i'm sorry for the short video but i really just wanted to get your attention because this battle royale tournament going on right now is pretty dang huge so you definitely don't want to miss out on that plus the competitive cod scene is probably going to take off pretty big this year and just get y'all's attention so definitely check out this stuff guys i got some more awesome videos coming out later this week i have some more operator mod guides some specialist guides and, and just some amazing content coming out overall so definitely click that subscribe button so you won't miss out and yeah thanks for watching guys till next time i'll see you later